okay welcome friends to another video tutorial so today we are going to consider gram positive and gram negative bacteria so what is gram positive bacteria and what is a gram negative bacteria so these bacteria both have got the cell wall but they are classified as gram negative or gram negative based on the structure of the cell wall okay cell wall based on the structure of the cell wall so to begin with we are going to start with gram positive bacteria so what makes a bacteria to be classified as a gram positive bacteria it is because of the makeup of the cell wall so how is the cell wall of that of the gram positive bacteria differ to the cell wall of that of the gram negative bacteria well the peptidoglycan okay the gram positive bacteria has the thick peptidoglycan peptido glycan not only does it have the thick peptidoglycan but it also has additional molecules okay which is known as the coic acid okay the coic acid just like we can see from this diagram so this diagram it is just demonstrating the gram positive cell wall another name for peptidoglycan it is mulen okay so now this is the structure of the gram positive bacteria so we are going to consider the structure also of the gram negative bacteria so that we can see the similarities and also the differences the gram positive bacteria cell wall it has the Tachoic acid. Now, what type of tachoic acid? It is lipo tachoic acid. Why is it referred to as lipo tachoic acid? It is because it is attached to the lipid bilayer of the cell wall. That's why it is known as lipo tachoic acid. We have also another small unit of tachoic acid, which is this, okay, which is denoted in color blue. So these uh, tachoic acids are referred as to wall. It's like it's a or tachoic acid. Why? Because it is only attached to the peptidoglycan layer. So this is the layer of peptidoglycan. What differentiates the bacteria, the gram positive bacteria from the negative bacteria, it is uh, the peptidoglycan layer. So the peptidoglycan layer for the gram positive is very thick as compared for the gram negative bacteria. So this is a thick peptidoglycan. So this is just to demonstrate um, the peptidoglycan. And also what we need to know, what makes the peptidoglycan is also the amino acids. What are those amino acids? These amino acids are these two types of amino acids. So I've put them in red to show that there are two types, red and black. They are connected together by the peptide bond, by the peptide bond. So these amino acids, they are connected together. The, the, the first one, it is like, we can consider the key here, which is the NAG, and the last one, it is the NAM. What do you think the NAG, the, the NAG mean? The NAG simply means N for N-acetylglycosamine. So we have the N-acetylglycosamine and also the N acetyl mulemic acid. So these are the two types of amino acids uh, and sugars that are in the peptidoglycan. So remember, 
The peptidoglycan, it is made up of the sugar molecules and also the, amino, the amino acid. So, and these are connected by the peptide, peptide bond. Okay. Don't forget uh, examples of these sugars. It's uh, any acetylmulenic and also any acetyl glycosamine which are connected together using the peptide bond so this is the cell wall so now how is gram positive be identified gram positive and gram negative in the laboratory can be um, identified using the gram stain okay using the gram staining it stains purple. It stains purple. Okay. So now, this is, we consider these parts to be the cytoplasm, and this is the cell membrane. Okay. Then on top of the cell membrane, there is a cell wall. And this cell wall, it is made up of the peptidoglycan. This peptidoglycan, it is made up of the tachoic acids. And remember, there are two types of tachoic acid. The first one, it is the lipotachoic acid, which is attached to the cell wall. And the wall tachoic acid, this it only attaches within the peptidoglycan. And we have the molecules of sugar and amino acid that is linked together. We, what name are those? We, the, the first one, it is the any acetyl glycosamine, which is also abbreviated as NAG. And the next one, it is the n acetyl mulemic acid, which is also abbreviated as NAM. So this is the structure of the gram positive bacteria we also need to to talk about the mycobacteria tuberculosis this mycobacteria tuberculosis it is also the gram positive bacteria it has the cell wall but it cannot be stained using gram stain but rather by using acid acid fast staining method so why using this acid fast staining method because it has got the wax layer this wax layer it is produced by the mycolic acid that this type of um, bacteria produces so because of having this mycolic acid it interferes the gram staining. As a result, the acid fast can stain the mycobacterium tuberculosis. So this is the, the structure. So um, what we need to know under the gram-positive bacteria. So uh, gram-positive bacteria, it produces toxins that is called exotoxins these toxins they damage body tissues and organs okay and also let us consider the common gram positive bacteria that are pathogenic pathogenic we have staphylococcus and also streptococcus example of staphylococcus gram positive bacteria we have um Staphylococcus aureus, Staphylococcus saprophyticus, and also Epidemides. So now let us consider the gram-negative cell wall. We talked about uh, gram-positive bacteria having the thick peptidoglycan. Okay, so this is the bacteria. Let us consider this one to be a bacteria. Okay, this is the bacteria. Now this bacteria has got a cell membrane here now on top of the cell membrane this is the, the gram positive on top of the cell membrane there is a 
peptidoglycan layer which is thick here which is very thick and you remember what i said from the this thick layer of peptidoglycan there is lipo tachoic acid which is attached to the cell membrane there is also war tachoic acid that is within the peptidoglycan so these are lipo tachoic acid it also contains the sugars and amino acid connected together by peptide bond which is the nag nam and nam and we say the nag it means any acetyl glycosamine then this is the nam then NAM stand for any acetyl mulemic acid. So this is what we discussed for the gram positive bacteria. Now this is the gram negative bacteria, just like you can see from the structure here. The peptidoglycan is thin. And I've just put the two layers of the sugars and amino acid that are connected together to show that it's very thin so on top of the peptidoglycan for the gram negative there is an additional layer of lipopolysaccharides okay okay so on top of the peptidoglycan there is another outer cell membrane that is on top of peptidoglycan, which is different from the gram positive because gram positive, it only have the peptidoglycan, but for the gram negative, it has the outer membrane, okay? But on top of the outer membrane, there is an additional layer of lipopolysaccharide. So for the gram negative, it starts from the here. It starts from the cell membrane. Then after the cell membrane, there is the thin peptidoglycan here. This thin peptidoglycan, it is made up of what? The NAG and the NANS. These are connected together by the peptide bond. Then after the peptidoglycan, there is the additional layer of the outer membrane. Remember, this is the inner membrane and the other membrane. This other membrane, on top of it, there is also another small layer of the lipopolysaccharide. Now, when you consider lipopolysaccharide, there is molecules that make the lipopolysaccharide. It contains the O antigen, the core polysaccharide, and also the lipid A. Just like you can see from the structure here, the lipid A, it attaches the lipopolysaccharide to the outer membrane. Then after what attaches directly to the lipid A, it is the core protein, just like you can see from the red color here, core, core polysaccharide. Then after what is attached, attached to the core polysaccharide is the O antigen. So the O antigen and the A, and, uh, lipid A, these are the virulent factors that cause infection in humans. These are virulent factors, virulent factors that causes infection here. So we will consider more how these can affect or can cause infection when we look at the gram negative road, which is the enterobacteriasis. The outer membrane, it is connected to the peptidoglycan by the protein known as the lipoprotein. So this is the structure of the gram negative. Just like you can see here, it is different from that of the gram positive because gram positive, it only have the peptidoglycan so well as the outer membrane layer. Then for the gram-negative, it has the 
outer membrane layer on top of the peptidoglycan. Then the outer small layer of lipopolysaccharides, which is made up of three molecules. The first one is O antigen, second one it is called polysaccharide, and the last one it is the lipid A poly. A lipid lip, lipid A molecule. So now, when we talk about the lipid A molecule, lipid A molecule, it is responsible for producing endotoxins. Remember, for the gram positive, we said. The, to the type of the toxins that it produces, it is the exotoxins. But for the gram negative, it is the endotoxins. These are the virulence factors, okay, that damages the cells and the tissues. So remember, the gram negative has got three layers. What are these layers? There is, these three layers are on top of this inner cell membrane so there is peptidoglycan there is the outer membrane and also an additional additional layer of the lipopolysaccharide so now this O antigen in combination uh, with the H antigen antigen these two they cause severe infections and more especially for all antigen it is used all antigen and the H are used for cellological identification identification yeah so these two, they are very much virulent and cause severe infections. So let's just talk about um, examples of gram-negative, but now cocci. We have two types, like we have Neisseria meningitis that is responsible for causing the meningitis. Okay. And also Neisseria gonorrhea. Neisseria gonorrhea. So it's responsible for causing gonorrhea. Okay. So these are the gram negative cocci. So we also have gram negative bacilli. So these gram negative bacilli, example, we have Hemophili influenza. Hemophili influenza. So this is the structure of the gram positive negative. This is um, the structure of the gram positive bacteria. So you can see this is the gram positive bacteria. Just you can see, the way you can see the structure, it has got just two layers, which is the first layer, it is the cell membrane. Second, it is the peptidoglycan. It doesn't have the additional layers on on top of the peptidoglycan but now when you go to gram negative bacteria it has the cell membrane peptidoglycan the outer membrane and on top of the outer membrane there is the lipo polysaccharide with three molecules so this is how the gram positive and gram negative structure is. So what differentiates the gram positive from the gram negative is that the gram positive bacteria, it has a thick peptidoglycan. That's for the gram positive bacteria. But for the gram negative bacteria, it has the thin peptidoglycan layer with the addition of the outer membrane layer and the lipopolysaccharide. 
but for the gram positive it doesn't have the additional outer membrane layer and the lipopolysaccharide but there is something that differentiates it from gram negative bacteria gram negative bacteria it doesn't have taicoic acid but the gram positive it has the taicoic acid gram negative doesn't have taicoic acid but both they have the nam and the nag so thank you so much so in the next video we are now going to consider the gram negative load since we have considered the examples of the gram negative cocci gram negative bacilli so in the next video i'm going to consider the gram negative rod which is just the intellobacteriaceae